Hey guys, Shane here from Tech 3D Printing, and a lot of people ask, how can I make my 3D printer quieter? Well, there's one simple and easy way to do that, and you can go ahead and pick these up. These are stepper dampeners. Now, what these are, they're metal, so if you can hear that, they're completely metal, and in the middle there is a rubber gasket. Very strong, very thick rubber. You can't deform it by hand at all. But try. It doesn't twist, but you can definitely feel in there that it is rubber. So let's talk about installation. You can see here there's two different size holes. You have these here, which are much larger, and these, which are much smaller. So now I actually have this upside down. It actually is going to be installed like so. With the larger holes are going to be facing on your stepper. The small holes are going to be what you're screwing into through whatever mounting uh, face or whatever it is your printer has. Uh, for me, it's the melanine piece on the Forgetech FT5. So it differs for every printer, but you can figure that out on your own. It's a very, very simple installation. Now, when you buy these, these are about oh, two to three dollars a piece, depending on where you get them, whether it be AliExpress or Banggood or eBay or Amazon. I mean, they're on everywhere. The prices vary from, like I said, like a buck fifty to like five dollars. Very different, but all you get is the single separate dampener. You have to buy them, you know, multiples at a time. They only come in one pack. Some places sell more than that, but you actually need hardware in order to install this. So, so here we have some six millimeter, just socket cap screws, and that is what we need on here to fasten it to it. You can't use the screws that you're already using because that would then not be able to mount it anything. So for orientation, mine has to sit like this and I need the bracket like so. All we have to do is tighten this down. Now you have to do it this way because the smaller holes here are threaded for M3s. The larger holes are M4 size, but they're not threaded. So you can't try and cheat it. You have to put them on this way. At least that's the way I've noticed you have to do it. But there it is. Now, the other thing to realize is now you see here, my collar is now super close to this. Well, that's not a very good thing. So we're gonna actually have to move that collar a bit. I say collar, I mean your geared pulley. Way up here for now. I'll actually retighten it once I install it in the FT5. But just realize that, that you're actually gonna lose quite a bit when you use these because again, the, uh, the melanie is quarter inch thick. That is now sitting about 11 millimeters up off, about what I need in order to get this to fit right. So that's it guys, that's a super easy way to silence your 3D printer. What this does is this helps absorb the vibrations that the motors cause with moving the gantry or the table or whatever it is back and forth so quickly. Now normally you don't need these on the Z-axis or the extruder. These only make sense on your X and Y because that is what's moving most frequently. That is what's moving the fastest. Your Z-speed is gonna be much lower than your X or Y. So that's why these are so useful on your X and Y steppers. That's these guys, again, really quick and easy. They're super easy to install. They really help with getting that sound out of your printer, especially with something as big as the FT5 and as fast as it moves, the sound just resonates right out of it. This will help absorb some of that sound. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, help me out on Patreon, help me out by using my affiliate links down below, check out some other of my content. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, happy printing.